By 2030, the creator economy is predicted to grow to $528 billion. In 2023, it was valued at $127 billion. That's a CAGR, compound annual growth rate, of 23%. In comparison, the international market for renewable energy has a compound annual growth rate of 17 for the same time frame. If I want time and location freedom, it's the right business to be in, but it's an extremely competitive market. To stay competitive, I need to leverage the latest tools to optimize my content creation process. My goal is to scale my business while keeping overhead low. How can I do that right now? I leverage AI. I can't be the farmer who kept using the hoe when tractors became available. If I am, my competitors will eat me alive. AI is here to stay, so why not use it to my advantage? Stay tuned as we look at 13 AI tools that can help me push content to my audience faster. We'll cover the whole process, from managing ideas and workflow, to script writing and video and thumbnail creation, all with AI. Get this, if I don't want to sit in front of a camera to talk to my audience but think that a talking head video would be the most engaging format, there's an AI tool to help me generate an avatar with human-like expressions. The last two AI tools in the list were a massive game changer for me. Stick around and find out why. Optimizing my writing. Writing is the starting point of most creative outputs. My blog, my YouTube video script, my Instagram post, my tweets, my advertising campaigns, my eBooks, they all depend on it. Sometimes the words are hard to come out or it can be a struggle to come up with a concise, engaging script. But now all these blockers can be dealt with by using our AI friends. Not only can I bounce ideas with them, I can use them to write my first draft. Gone are the days of writer's block. A final script could be produced in less than five minutes. Of course, AI agents are still new and sometimes hallucinate. So I definitely revise my scripts. The common ones I use are of course ChatGPT, then there's Notion AI, which comes embedded into Notion as a trial but needs to be purchased as a subscription for continuous use. But if I want more update data for research and real-time analysis, Perplexity AI is the winner. In comparison, ChatGPT and Notion AI, which uses a ChatGPT wrapper, depend more on offline, slightly outdated data, cut off at September 2021. Coming up with ideas and fleshing them out is great, but how can I manage all this content without frustration? Optimize my workflow. When I create content, I'm juggling many tasks at once. It's often a messy process. From ideas, capture, and evaluation, creating the content and publishing the end blog or video, I often lose my notes. I used to have several files to help manage the process. Then I moved to Notion, but it has its drawbacks including a steep learning curve to start with. Since then, I've discovered Notion on steroids. Let me introduce Mem AI. Mem makes it easier to capture and retrieve information compared to Notion. The search functionality in Mem is more granular as content is organized in a network structure as opposed to Notion's hierarchical structure. Mem AI makes my notes more discoverable. It makes it easier for me to make connections between ideas and retrieve information. The more information I add to Notion, the more complicated it becomes to manage and the more time it takes to find things. On the other hand, because of its network structure, the more information I add to MEM, the more useful it becomes. As my team expands, I might consider Taskade instead. Taskade offers a simpler, more intuitive user experience, making it even easier to set up and onboard new users. With Taskade, I can see all my tasks on one page, which allows for easy navigation, saving my team and I loads of time in day-to-day -day use. With embedded video call and screen sharing functionality, Taskade gives a boost to team collaboration. With Taskade, you can create custom AI agents and upload specific knowledge to each that can help with research and collaboration. If you're interested with any of these tools that we're covering in this video, see the video description for a link to them. Once my script is ready, this is how I make it come to life. Optimizing my media recording and editing. If I want to create a YouTube video, but don't want to sit in front of a camera and microphone, then I let AI do the talking. Once I've come up with a script, I feed it to Eleven Labs, an AI application with thousands of the best AI voices in 29 languages, and I can hear my script come to life. 
de un ambiente mágico que encantaba a todos los visitantes. One of the most beautiful castles in the land of Azura stood. Then I add B-roll using a video editing software like DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro. Don't want to add your own B-roll? Use CapCut. Feed your script to CapCut and it will create the whole video for you including voiceover, B-roll, caption and music. CapCut might have some video length limit. Please review it and work around its limitations accordingly. I don't like to use this method at the moment as I don't find CapCut's B-roll as engaging. If I still wanted to have a talking head video but didn't want to sit in front of a camera, I'd use Synthesia to create my video. Welcome everyone to the Synthesia 2.0 launch event. I'm Ada, an AI avatar. Synthesia I would allow me to include a close to real life AI person that talks to my audience. Bonus, if I'm doing a presentation video, Synthesia allows me to record my screen and include it in the video. But remember, like any AI tool, there can be limitations in the nuances of human expression or movement of the available avatars. There's so much work that goes into long form video creation. How can we squeeze the juice out of it? Optimizing my content strategy. To make the most of the videos I've already put so much time into, I turn my long form content into shorts with just a few clicks using Opus Clip. I just feed my video to Opus Clip and it crafts several engaging shorts from it, each tailored to highlight the best moments. Then I pick the best ones to publish. Shorts are an awesome way to boost traffic to my main page. Talk about a time saver. But here's a question. How do I keep viewers hooked, whether the content is short or long? Optimizing engagement, emotions sell. Mood keeps viewers engaged. I can add emotions to my videos by creating my own bespoke music using Strophe AI. With Strophe, I can make the exact music that fits the video's mood and theme. A non-AI alternative is Epidemic Sound, which allows me to pick and choose from 40,000 plus soundtracks for my videos. And if I decide to cancel my membership down the track, existing videos aren't affected. The main challenge with Epidemic Sound is it's more of a manual process where I need to search through libraries to find the right music for the mood I'm trying to create. Optimizing my creative assets creation. When I need to create thumbnails, images for my blog, website, or marketing and advertising assets, I use Leonardo AI. With a few words, I can get Leonardo AI to generate the right picture for the message I'm trying to convey. As the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Get this, Leonardo AI is so good that it was just acquired by Canva. I also use Canva and Canva AI to help me come up with my image assets. Now with Leonardo integrated, I'm saving loads of time throughout my creative process. When I started to use Canva and Leonardo AI for my YouTube channel, I saw a huge improvement in my click-through rate compared to my old thumbnails. Those tools were a game changer for me. But if you are an artist and want to make exceptionally good art using AI, then Stable Diffusion Online might be the better option for you. While Leonardo AI is more user-friendly, Stable Diffusion Online is more geared towards users who need fine control over details in their creations. It might not be as beginner-friendly as Leonardo AI, but it excels in generating highly detailed and precise images which makes it ideal for users who prioritize artistic precision over ease of use. Putting it all together, this is my end-to-end -end optimized process for creating a YouTube video using just AI, allowing me to save a huge amount of time and money that I would otherwise have to spend in employing more team members. Step one, use ChatGPT to generate a script for a video of any length. Step two, Use CapCut or Synthesia to generate the video image and caption. Step three, use Leonardo AI and Canva AI to generate the thumbnail. Step four, use ChatGPT to generate the video description. Step five, publish. If I'm not satisfied with the visuals from step two, I use 11 Labs to turn my script into a voiceover and use a video editor like DaVinci Resolve to create the video image that overlays the voiceover. If you want to keep honing your skills as a creator in a competitive market, consider checking out Skillshare to learn from the best. Real life entrepreneurs like Ali Abdal, Thomas Frank, Sorella More, and MKBHD share their expertise on the platform. Click the link in the video description for your first month free.
If you found this video valuable, hit the like button and please remember to subscribe. On this channel, we cover personal finance and emerging technologies. Do you know when AI will be taking over your job and make you obsolete? Watch this next video and find out. From waiter to programmer, no job is safe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.